UFC Vegas 62 last night, Jonathan Martinez defeated Cub Swanson via TKO by leg kicks in the second round. Leading up to the fight, at media day, Cub didn't answer any questions and let his teammate do all of the talking. Cub's trying to relax his voice a little bit. He's had a lot of phone calls and interviews to do, so I decided to fill in. He wanted to test me and he wanted to see if I answered everything correctly for him. After Martinez defeated Cub, he said that he actually found Cub's media day disrespectful. All this week, I wasn't really like thinking about it, who I was fighting, and uh, after I got the win, I was like, damn, I just beat Cub Swanson, so I'm really excited. I kind of felt kind of disrespectful when he had his interview and he didn't say nothing. So it was, I had that all week, I was like, he's looking at me like I'm nobody, so you know, I had to go in there and make a statement and stuff. Tyron Woodley wants a big payday by either fighting Nick or Nate Diaz. Speaking to MMA Junkie, Tyron said, Nate Diaz, I would tell him he's a boss. He's a G. He did what he needed to do. I think the fight against Tony Ferguson was a fight that he should have had anyway. Sometimes karma and some things work out the way they're supposed to work out. I would suggest he go get paid top dollar. I would suggest he go do what makes him feel good. If he still wants to do it, when he wants to do it, that's what I'd suggest. And I'd suggest he come over to this side and make some money with me because I got a good opportunity with me and Nick or Nate or both of them. We can make quite a few million dollars fighting each other. Bryce Mitchell versus Movzari Vloyev was supposed to go down at UFC Fight Night on November 5th. However, Movzar withdrew from the bout due to an undisclosed injury. For the past few months, the two have been going back and forth via Twitter, and Bryce is not happy about Movzar pulling out. So after months of harassing me and bullying me on the social media, uh, Movzar pulls out of the fight. You know, and, and, and might I say, I've, I've never been so bullied in my life. And, and I don't really accept the victim mentality. It doesn't really bother me. You know, it just pisses me off. You know, it makes me want to go in there and punch him right in his face. And uh, he says all this thing on me, on social media, about how I'm a coward and I'm a dumb and and this and that and that and this. And I, I, I've never been so harassed in my life. This guy was sending me messages of him smiling. This guy was on every one of my pictures commenting fight me fight me messaging me fight me uh then his manager gets on there or, or him and his fan clubs gets on there and starts making fun of me uh making fun of my losses and this and that uh calling me a coward calling me a dumb and hey this coward this dumb is gonna show up ready to fight so you can say what you want but when it come down to it this guy was ready to go. So, you can say all them words. That's fucking cheap, man. Them words don't mean a fucking thing. I was going to show up and give you a piece of my mind. And it wasn't going to be in English, buddy. It was going to be with these. Whatever. He he eats his words. And uh, I think a worthy opponent would be uh, Sadiq Yusuf. Sadiq has been calling me out. He walked up to me in the elevator. And <laughs> called me out on the elevator. It's like... Whatever, dude. Um, so now here's your chance, Sadiq. You've been talking all this this stuff, and, and I like how you're respectful about it at least. Sadiq's not a bully. He's just been saying he wants to fight me. And so, Sadiq, I do respect you. You are a very worthy opponent, and I'll take that fight in a heartbeat, buddy. Let's make it happen. Last week, Alexander Volkanovsky revealed that he would be the backup fighter for Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makhachev at UFC 280. Henry Cejudo on his YouTube channel breaks down why he believes Volkanovsky is making a big mistake. A lot of you guys are going to think I'm being a hater, but I'm going to tell you why this is a mistake for Alexander Volkanovsky. Alexander Volkanovsky, number one, you're going to get that second title shot. The UFC confirmed to you that you're the next person in line to fight for the lightweight title. Why don't you just wait? You, if, if, if for some reason Charles Oliveira pulls out of the fight, because that's the only guy that will literally pull out of the fight because of weight issues or X, Y, and Z, of not making weight. But that being said, if let, let's say hypothetically, if you were to fight a guy like Islam Makachev, that's the worst matchup that you could that you could ever pick. It's not a smart idea, Alexander. I'm gonna give you an example. Like for me, I will never be a replacement fight. You know why? Because I take my credentials too serious, as I should. I take my career, my legacy too serious, as I should. 
why don't you just wait? Maybe fight somebody in February. I know somebody, and he's calling. He's he's, he's talking right here. But I get it. I'm gonna fight my way back. I'm gonna fight you, and then and then we can kind of then we can settle the score. But that being said, I think you shouldn't be doing things like this because the simple fact is when you fight for a double title, you should take your time. Taking your time is the best thing that you could that you could do because right now you're not giving yourself a fighter's chance. You're just fighting to see, okay, I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna see if I could win. Not only will you lose, but you'll also lose your pound for pound status. When you have that pound for pound status, it's uh even though it's it's even though it's uh it's voted by these damn analysts who have never fought in their life, but I will say you are pound for pound right now. You will lose that. Jan Blahovic versus Magomed Ankalaev has been booked for UFC 282 on December 10th. Recently, we interviewed Jan, and here's what he had to say about the fight. This fight makes sense, yeah, against me and Ankalaev. If not, if not title shot, yeah. He's only lost once in the UFC, and it was a fight that he was winning. He lost with one second left on the clock. I mean, that, yeah. that's a very tough fight. Do you agree? Of course, you know, but uh, I signed contract to have tough fights, you know. I want this type of fight because they motivate me very much, so I'm gonna be ready if I'm gonna have to be ready for Uncle Ayev. I'm gonna make, uh, you know, also the, the very tough fight for him, and he's gonna have a second loss if he's gonna fight against me. Jorge Masvidal recently had some words for Leon Edwards. In an interview with MMAFighting.com, Jorge called Leon out to fight and said that that's the fight that the fans really want to see. Leon has responded to Jorge. On Twitter, he wrote, refer to me as Mr. Edwards or sir, and get on your knees and beg, and I may consider it. Leading up to UFC 281, Isra Adesanya and Alex Pajeda have been taking shots at each other via social media. Pajeda posted this recently. It's the clip of Sean Strickland and Izzy arguing back at the UFC 276 press conference. In the caption, he wrote, why were they arguing? Izzy had a message for Pajeda earlier today. He posted this to his Instagram story. It's a tombstone with the name Pajeda on it, and at the bottom it says game over. And that's gonna wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post future ones. Here are the three top comments from last video. These comments are in reference to Jorge Masvidal's message to Leon Edwards. The first one's from The Ultimate Snake. It says, Jorge is like that crazy ex-girlfriend trying to come back in your life once she finds out you're successful. The second one's from Nate Marks. It says, Jorge begging for a title match on a three-fight losing streak is more embarrassing than him getting humiliated by Colby in five rounds. And the final one's from The Timeless T. It says, Masvidal sounds so desperate. He seriously went from one of the most beloved fighters to one of the most hated, and he can only blame himself. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured on the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. If you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen to get caught up. And make sure to go subscribe to our second channel where we post our exclusive MMA interviews.